Hello everyone, happy Boxing Day. I hope you've had a great festive period so far. Uh, but today I am back with another short children's quiz. Uh, we did one on Christmas Eve or it, it went out on Christmas Eve. So if you haven't seen that one and want to catch up, the link is down below in the description with all of the links to our festive quizzes so far uh, this year. Um, today's quiz will keep to the same format that we did for the children's quiz on Christmas Eve. Uh, there'll be 20 questions. The first 10 come from two different sections of of key stage one and then the final 10 questions will just be some random children general knowledge questions really um so if you want to get your pens and paper ready to go remember there'll be no break in the middle i'll just let you know when to pause the video so that you can uh, have some time to put your answers together and have a think about it uh, but let's get straight into it uh for you uh, we'll kick off then here we go uh, with some nature questions for you um, so these are all from key stage one which i think is five to eight age group um, but they could still be tricky for older kids you never know uh, it's fun for everyone to play along and especially if you're adults playing along as well uh, let's here we go let's start with this one number one an amphibian lives on land and where so an amphibian lives on land and where Uh, number two, the skeleton is made up of 206 what? So the skeleton is made up of 206 what? And so number three, plants need light, air and what else to grow? So plants need light, air, and what else to grow? Number four, what part of a tree comes out in the spring and falls in the autumn? So what part of a tree comes out in the spring and falls in the autumn? And number five, touch, sight, smell, hearing are four of the five senses. What is the last one? So touch, sight, smell and hearing are four of the five senses. What is the last one? So let's move on to round two then for you and a bit of history for you. Again, like I said, these are key stage one questions. So things that the young ones are learning uh, potentially at school or will be learning soon. So they might get a head start. Uh, but here's question one. Uh, the Great Fire of London started in what kind of shop? So the Great Fire of London started in what kind of shop? Number two, what was the Titanic? So what was the Titanic? Number three, what does VE Day stand for? So what does VE Day stand for? Uh, 
Number four, Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk where? So Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk where? And your final history question, number five, which king had six different wives? So which king had six different wives? So we'll finish off then with 10 random children general knowledge questions. Uh, random ones, kicking off with this for number one. Uh, what is the art of paper folding called? So what is the art of paper folding called? Number two, in which sport might you do a slam dunk? Hmm. In which sport might you do a slam dunk? Number three, Goldilocks had an encounter with how many bears? Goldilocks had an encounter with how many bears? Uh, number four, what is the name of the person who protects you at the swimming pool? So what is the name of the person who protects you at the swimming pool? Number five, what is 10% of 200? Little maths question for you. Uh, what is 10% of 200? And number six, how many days in a leap year? So how many days are there in a leap year? And number seven, Alfred was a butler for which superhero? So Alfred was a butler for which superhero? Uh, number eight, how many symbols in a row do you need to win a game of noughts and crosses? How many symbols in a row do you need to win a game of noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe if you know it that way as well? Number nine, what is the ninth month of the year? So what is the ninth month of the year? Uh, 
And finally, number 10, which shark comes after Daddy Shark in the song? I make no apologies for putting this in. <laughs> uh, which shark comes after Daddy Shark in the song? So that is all of those questions for this Boxing Day Children's Quiz. So if you need to take a bit of time and put your answers together or have a think about them, whatever it is you might need to do, uh, in just a second, I'll tell you when to pause the video. And then when we come back, we'll go straight into the answers and see how you did. So if you do need a bit more time, you want a breather, all you need to do is pause the video now. Okay. And welcome back. Uh, so we'll get straight into the answers then and see how you did with these 20 questions. So we started today uh, with a nature round. Uh, five nature questions. Here are your answers. Number one, uh, an amphibian lives on land and water. Probably in water is probably what I should have put, but uh, on, lives on land and in water. Uh, number two, the skeleton is made up of 206 bones. Number three, plants need light, air, and what else to grow? It is water. Number four, what part of a tree comes out in the spring and falls in the autumn? It is leaves. And number five, touch, sight, smell, and hearing are four of the five senses. What is the last one? Uh, it is taste. Mm. Round two is about history. Number one, the Great Fire of London started in which kind of shop? It is bakery. Number two, what was the Titanic? It was a large ship uh, that sank. Uh, it was on its journey from uh, the United Kingdom to New York. And unfortunately, it sank in 1912, I think it was. You'll probably know that better than I do, learning about it in school. Number three, what does VE Day stand for? It is victory in Europe, and that was from World War Two. Number four, Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk on the moon. And they're looking to go back and send more people back to the moon very, very soon. And number five, which king had six different wives? It was called Henry VIII. And that V-I-I -I there, that means eight in Roman numerals. So Henry VIII. And your general knowledge then, let's do this. Number one, what is the art of paper folding called? It is origami. Number two, in what, which sport might you do a slam dunk? It is basketball. Whoop, too far. Number three, Goldilocks had an encounter with how many bears? There were three. Number four, what is the name of the person who protects you at a swimming pool? They are called a lifeguard. Number five, what is 10% of 200? It is 20. Number six, how many days in a leap year? There are 366. Number seven, Alfred was a butler for which superhero? That's Batman. Uh, number eight, how many symbols in a row do you need to win a game of noughts and crosses uh, or tic-tac-toe? It is three. Number nine, what is the ninth month of the year? It is September. And your final question was number 10. Which shark comes after daddy shark in the song? It is grandpa shark. So mummy shark, daddy shark, well, baby shark, mummy, da mummy shark, daddy shark, grandpa shark, grandma shark. And then run away, do, 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 do. <laughs> so there we go. That is all of your questions. That's your 20 questions uh, for today for this Boxing Day special quiz. Uh, like I say, if you didn't see the Christmas Eve one, the link is down below if you want to check that out and see how you might get on with those as well. Um, that is it for me. Uh, next quiz from me will be on uh, Thursday night, as always. Uh, that will be my next one. Uh, we're hoping to maybe try and do some children's quizzes again in the new year. Uh, but keep across everything we do uh, and you'll be the first to know when we do. 
that is it from me. Hope you've had a great festive period from all of us here. We'll see you soon. As always, take care and stay safe.